but you, know, you can't see anything. You indeed see a man in what appear to be dark, dark robes, high neck, nope. turtleneck, nope. and nope. a hood. And he is, the door gets knocked off of his hinges. The person behind it gets compacted so hard that they fall to the ground. You hear a, what the? I feel two thoughts. Okay. So the first thought, the gamer in me. Yeah. This video is sponsored by World Anvil. More information in the description. You have a interesting method of like figuring out what class people are. Yes. Can you explain that? So... Uh, I, so my D&D kind of story, I guess, I'm I'm more of a performer mm -hmm. than in anything. I actually, uh, I didn't play with anybody <laughs> in, for a long time. I read all the books, uh, tried going to a couple things, and I just found, like, a lot of the old school D&D &D stuff, I didn't really like that kind of, like, the stigma, I guess, would it be? Okay. Of, like, because my, my first experience with D&D, &D, I'm not answering your question, but I'm leading to it. Uh, I went to a game store with a level one character, half orc rogue or half orc cleric, excuse me. On paper. On paper. Yeah. And I was very confused because I was like, I don't know where any of this is. And they're like, we don't have a level one table. How about level 13? And I was like, sure. Oh. And then the other players started yelling at me when I wouldn't heal them. So I got turned off from that. I went into the improv scene. I went into the comedy scene. And I was like, I want to do D&D. No one's going to play it with me. Mm -hmm. So in an effort to kind of like make the DMing experience easier mm -hmm. was I started doing this with my like acting friends of like, I want you to make a character, but I want you to not know that you're making a character. So what I do is I take the essence of D&D &D as a whole of like spur of the moment improv mixed with like that play pretend that we all know from being a kid of like, you know, what would you do if there was a sword, a wand, and, you know, a pair of daggers in front of you? Like, what are you going to go towards? Right. And then you can kind of like, okay, the person that's going to go grab the sword wants to hit things. Or they want to be able to be like be a swashbuckler. So you kind of like get them into that. And it's a branching narrative of making a character. Yeah. Would you want to do one right now? Sure. Okay. All right. I love that there was a backstory tied into the answer. Hey. I, as the person who put in the uh, whatever page, I will say it's a 20 page backstory for Halleg. Uh, I learned that Discord had a character limit. It was one of my <laughs> things. But uh, I like backstory. So um, you played D&D, &D, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, so how are we going to start? Carmichael, you wake up. Uh, your eyes are slowly starting to gain, uh, gain consciousness into the area where you're in. It's dimly lit. Uh, you feel the wetness and the hotness in your mouth that you only can recognize as blood. Um, you look around you and you appear to be in some sort of warehouse, storage facility. There are no windows in this area. The only illumination you have is a uh, small light bulb hanging about 10 feet from the ceiling with a little pull string underneath it. Uh, there is a circle drawn in chalk in the center of this four-sided area. Uh, you look to your left uh, in deep in the corner over there in kind of this like shadowed area, there is a door. Uh, on this circle you see there is a large pentagram drawn. Uh, in the middle of that pentagram you see a solid a severed finger. What do you do? Uh, I look at my fingers. You look at all your fingers? You have all your fingers. Okay. Um, is the door open or closed? Would you like to go check out? I can't tell from here. Uh, you can't tell if it's locked from here, no? No, no, not locked. Closed or open. Oh, it is closed. I apologize. Sorry, no worries. Uh, so it's closed. Yeah. Got my fingers. There's a yep. finger there. The light that's hanging is on. It is on. That is how you can see right now. Okay, I will, I feel two thoughts. Okay. So the first thought, the gamer in me, yeah, go up and get to that finger. Okay. But if I really think about the moment, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah. I see a door. Yeah. And I'm going to try to not go into that circle or touch mm -hmm. the chalk and go to the door okay. and try to open it. As you go to stand up, you go to stand up and you, you look down at your leg and you are not 
shackled, more or less tied. You see that there is a, a kind of a thick wire around your leg. Uh, what do you do? Is it tight? It's pretty tight. Who's the... Where's the... I would look for where the wire is connected. Wire is connected to a small pipe, but it looks to be a drain pipe uh, from either a shower or some sort of, like, large water area. So it's, it's, it's pretty sturdy, but you feel like... Wire. Might be able to pull on it. You're not sure what that would do to your leg. I'll give it a quick tug. Okay. It's it's on there. Okay. It's not it's not like it's if you really pull, you mm-hmm. might damage your foot a little bit, but you could pull this off. You feel like it's giving enough with that just Is little... it the type of wire is it is it like aluminum wire where I can just bend it until it breaks? I <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna do this. You you go, you start going like this, and it starts to break. Great. Um, you're so you're thinking about this this wire. Yeah. And that intellect of yours is starting to kick in, and you go, okay, how did I get here? How does this uh, how does this work? Where where am I going? Like what 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 person put me here? What thing put me here? Do you think in your mind, not as you as this person, but you as this character, would you think that this is nefarious in nature? Like, oh, I have been kidnapped because I am a special person, or I might have done something to deserve it? Not me as a person. You as a character. So that's how I think about it. Like, you in that video game mentality in your mm-hmm. mind, that is okay to embrace. Right. But I would say video game mentality. Yeah. It would be someone kidnapped me. Okay. In your mind. Which says a lot about the real me. <laughs> hey, that's, that's totally fine. Uh, why would they kidnap you? Thinking a little too much. Mm-hmm. And I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. And I might have said the wrong thing around, around the wrong person. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of vague situa- possible situations there. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of variables. But I probably was too relaxed because of drinking. Mm -hmm. And either someone was fishing me or I was with my friend that I was open with. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you say the wrong things a lot of the time? I I can be often afraid of doing that. Mm -hmm. I think not for the sake of others, but for the sake of making sure i know what i'm saying interesting does that make sense it does you feel like that you're you have to guard yourself of being your true self or do you have to like i do have to mask a lot Mm -hmm. the thoughts that go through my mind are faster than the words that can come out Mm -hmm. and often if i like i'm having a conversation with you right now yeah i have to it is you're saying after this you have to go to the gym i'm in the gym right now mentally and I'm doing like, I want to say 85 pound uh, sets right now. Nice. And it is, it's a lot. Okay. Especially after a four hour, st- uh, three yeah. hour stream. In, uh, so let's, we'll pull back a little bit. Yeah. Uh, in this world that we have created right here, do you feel. With a finger. With a finger. Uh, do you <laughs> feel that in this moment, uh, the character Carmichael. Yeah. Uh, who maybe says the wrong things a couple times, but his words have power and his brain is operating at a higher level and he's having to tamp himself down. Mm -hmm. Do you think in this moment where no one is watching that his full potential can be realized in this moment? Yes, but it would not be verbal. Mm -hmm. How does that manifest? That would manifest in efforts. So like grunts, moans, ahs, huh, Mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. it'd be a lot of that and um i would be having internal dialogue Mm -hmm. not monologues Mm -hmm. and i would be working through this means that therefore this could mean this Mm -hmm. but whatever the fuck that is Mm -hmm. i don't want to mess with that as you're thinking about what that is, mm-hmm. you feel a bit of a pull. Mm-hmm. Feel like if you were to tug on that pull, you could move that finger. I 
wonder if that is true. And I try to move it. Goes right to your hand. I drop it. <laughs> it's a little, a little. <laughs> is it like cut off, bleeding kind of thing? It looks like a clean cut, uh, not surgical in nature, like someone hacked it off. Ugh. Okay. Uh, uh, Caucasian skin, uh, long fingernail. It looks to be a finger of, of a person who was either identifying as female or a person who just had, had their nails done. Right. Hello? No response. You are still tied on your... But I broke it. Oh, yes, right. You broke it. My apologies. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still tied, but yeah. I, bro- I, so got the, broke I got a little wire sticking little, out. You have a little wire sticking out. Uh, you are free to explore the room now that you are free. I would try to leave okay. as swiftly as possible. You go to go to the door. <laughs> it opens. Utter darkness stands before you. That little bit I of light. I close my eyes and close the door. Close your eyes. You close the door. Can't see anything. <laughs> uh, open my eyes. You open your eyes. The door is still there. Do I hear breathing? With that little bit of <laughs> sense in your mind, you hear not hurried breath, kind of just like a, a very deep breath in. And then a wheeze out about 10 feet beyond the door. Now you open that through door, the door through the door. You open that door and it was dark. That little bit of light from the light bulb bled in, mm-hmm. but not enough to illuminate where you could see. Hey, before we figure out what's hiding in the dark, I want to talk to you about World's Anvil and how I'm using World Anvil for Amity Island. Uh, the Jaws game that Chris and I are supposed to be talking about, but instead we're playing D&D. World Anvil, sponsor of the video. It's essentially a place for dungeon masters, for authors, and kind of like showrunners. The goal really with it is to store your world building information, track my timeline, pin different locations on my map and leave lore and history there. So that way, every time we move on from a new town with my players, I can have a log of information right there on the map. Use my promo code FABLE so that way you can get 40% off World Anvil on your own subscription and you can start tracking your world building right now on the best world tracking platform there is. Let's get, let's get back to let's go back to the video. Now as you're thinking about this, that little twinge of should I think so? Let's see. You think in this moment with that kind of knowledge and your un, untethered ability, could you manifest yourself seeing? Gamer me, yes. Real me? No, 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 no. Worry, no. This is no, no. This is yeah. an interesting fact. Okay. Real me, I would want to not be able to see. Okay. At all. Okay. So I'm, I will say that you cannot see. Okay. Cool. So you have opened the door, seen nothing. You closed your eyes. You've heard this person that appears to be. Sleeping, meditating. Okay. They're relaxed. So I open the door and go back in, right? Is that is that where we are at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, there's no sign of other exit because it falls off in the light. It falls off in the light. As you kind of, you are you entering the doorway? Your eyes start to adjust a little bit. Oh no! It's shades of gray. Yeah. But you can't see anything. You indeed see a man in what appear to be dark, dark robes, high neck, turtleneck. Nope. And nope. the hood. And he is. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Next to him is a long, uh, looks to be a ritualistic dagger sitting next to him on the ground. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, okay. Player me and real me is now coming to an alignment. Good. Cover your goblin's ears. Okay. <laughs> I would go for the dagger. Okay. And then try to choke hold the man. And if he struggled, I would uh, not stab him in the side, mm-hmm. but put the dagger up against his side to okay. stop him. Uh, he is in a chair, leaned up. Are you going to situate yourself deftly around him, oh, yeah. or are you going to rip him out and then? No, boom. I would go around him the best I can, and okay. the moment I notice that he would notice, it would be full pounce. Okay. Uh, do you think you're good at this? Is this something you've you've trained for? Not necessarily like you're. you're this is completely. This, my muscles are being agile uh-huh. out of this out of fear. 
Not out of trained. <laughs> no. Okay. It's, I need to do this uh -huh. out of complete fear. Like, it, it's like um, Stray mm -hmm. trying to get what they need mm -hmm. and then will attack if necessary. Cool. You get this guy and you you get it on his side and he wakes up and goes, uh, please, I don't... Uh, Where well, am I? Uh, you are in the warehouse in the Ducks District. Um... Please, please don't kill me. Please. What am I doing here? It, we, you were you were mouthing off to the, the benefactor and we had to bring you in. Uh, you were going to be next sacrifice and then we got uh, busy. Where do I... Where's the exit? I, uh, uh, and he kind of looks and you see his head uh, turns to the right and you see to the right uh, and you haven't had an opportunity to really look around this room because there is a person there and you were mm -hmm. fight or flight response. You see a long hallway doors on either side about two on your left three on your right and about 50 yards down the hallway there is a large stone or stone there's a large metal uh door with one of those like slat things where you can open it up yeah, and yeah. see through he three goes, doors on the right two doors on the left yep. down the hallway and a slat door please what? please if you let me go i will who, el who else is here uh the ten of us uh which door is the exit uh, he points to the right door, the last door on your right. So the second door on your Is right. Someone on the other side of that door. I I don't know. I was sleeping. Thanks. Stab him in the side. <laughs> pull it out. <laughs> cut throat. Uh, curiously enough, <laughs> as you go to stab him in the side, a bit of force yeah. appears at your side. That little twinge in your brain that allowed you to pull that finger. You feel an availability to you that you've never felt. You could rip this knife out and pull forward if you wanted to. Too messy. I'm gonna pull out, cool. cut throat. As the life slowly leads him, and you I lay him down. Lay him down. In this moment. Take my breath. Yeah. You are confident that no one has heard you. Okay. I, I try to pull his body and kind of shuffle him under whatever that table was. Pull and shuffle him under the table. You feel pretty good. In this moment, you've just taken a life. Mm -hmm. You're high alert in your brain. You're high alert everywhere else. How's your hand? Are you steady? No. Um, I'm actually kind of like in that like early panic attack mode mm -hmm. where you're just like you're trying to loot. You're trying to free yourself from it. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at. So a knife wouldn't feel comfortable in your hand. No. Okay. You can keep it, obviously. I'm keeping it. Yeah. What does he have on him? You go through his clothes. He has what appears like it's this, it's like a half staff. Okay. Like a, what, what we would in D&D &D call a rod. Right. Um, it's a, a double end. It has skulls on either ends of it. The long uh, obsidian looking kind of carving on it uh, is in a language that you like squint a little bit and then it starts to form in your mind. Um, <laughs> as you hear <laughs> what it says, instead of reading it, you hear it, and a voice comes to you and says, this is the staff of the deceiver. Would you like to know? I look around before I answer. You've, you've taken a call uh, on your cell phone. You've yeah, not really where the voice is coming from. Mm -hmm. Like, is there anyone about to walk in the room? Around, no one's here. Take the guy's hoodie. Mm -hmm. And I pocket the rod. I'm like, I won't, I don't know if I should respond. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to go to the last door at the end of the hall. On the, the door he told you to? Yeah. You start walking down the hallway and then you hear... Right, let's go get drink. I need to get another bottle. On the second door on the left, you hear a as a lock is being uh, getting undone. What do you do? Is there like a push lock on the doorknob? Smart. <laughs> you look at this. Uh, you are not walking quick enough. Uh huh. That little bit of tug in your mind starts to go. You could do this yourself. I lock it. It locks. He goes, what the? 
what the shit? And, and I hurry up. I keep walking. Mm-hmm. And if I hear, uh, I'll take note that I did that. Mm-hmm. Keep walking. And I'll be like, if they open the door, I'm going to shut the door. Mm-hmm. Try that. Okay. Uh, in but this I'm going to get to this door that I'm trying to get to. In this moment, you haven't responded to this voice. No. You feel, whereas everything else has been like, it's like reaching with a muscle you haven't mm-hmm. felt before. This feels like something in the pit of your stomach. Not like you're going to throw up, but more or less kind of that feeling you get when you're you're excited, you're ready to go. Yeah. So it's that nervous energy, but you feel like you could tap into that nervous energy. As the door starts to jangle, you go to the last door. Mm-hmm. It's locked. Unlock, unlock, unlock. And I shake the, the whatever door that I'm trying to open, and I'm thinking and like whispering How hard panically. Are you thinking? Like I panicking thoughts. Like number one priority thoughts, okay. maximum. Something extraordinary happens. And I want you to describe what happens here. Okay. This can take the form of you opening the door so violently that the person is standing behind it gets rocketed back. Okay. The person behind the door gets distracted or you can open this door in such a way where it opens and you are not there. Open and forcefully push them out. You feel this and you turn your hand into a forceful push. The door gets knocked off of his hinges. The person behind it gets compacted so hard that they fall to the ground. You hear a, what the? And doors start jangling open as they start to try. It appears that every door in this warehouse is locked and they are struggling. What do you do? Chase mode, just like, where are my exits? Where am I going? You look around. There are uh, there's a door on the end right here. It appears to be one of those metal security doors. Mm-hmm. It's locked on the inside, however. Okay, I would run up to it and just be like, unlock, unlock. You can just turn the lock. If you like to use your magic, you're more than welcome to. Well, if there's a lock, I'll just unlock it there and move through. You unlock it. You enter a doorway, and uh, it appears to be... Uh, you are outside now, but where you are outside, there is that entry-level cage. So like when you go to a government building, there's that cage outside that you kind of have to go through. Oh, Typically, yeah. there's like a metal detector or anything. No metal detector here, but... There is a cage. Progress. You got outside, <laughs> you slammed the door behind you. It is locked. And it's available yeah. to you from the inside. You got to get out of here. Do you feel like you could climb over the gate? Or are you looking to hide? Are you looking to sprint away? What's your game plan now that you're outside? Outside, um, you see that there are a long corridor. It's uh, ca- caged around you. So it is like... I want to say 10 feet out, eight feet on either side from the doorway uh, with a open ceiling or open. Are there, are there like other baddies, guards around? Not that you can see. You look, you look and you are basically like you're at the L.A. docks, like kind of where okay. like there's those large like industrial buildings where it's it's late at night. There mm-hmm. could be someone here, but they are not around an area where they could be heard or seen right now. I will go to climb and climb over. Cool. Uh, do you feel like climbing is easier for you? You're 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 wiry and you're you're able to take out a guy and you're like doing it, but you're <laughs> are you uh, are you strong or are you more like quick? It depends on the the flimsiness of the fence or the cage. Mm-hmm. If it's pretty strong, I can find my like climbing feet mm-hmm. and get over. If it's flimsy, I'm a little like a little loosey goosey on it. Okay. It's sturdily built. Okay, then. Uh, grip, grip, pull, step, step, jump. Okay. You get up over here and leap down uh, just as the door to the warehouse opens. A similar hooded figure stands out, uh, holds a crossbow at you. Small hand crossbow. Doesn't make any noise. Uh, don't. Please, don't. Will be the thoughts that I have looking back. Uh, thoughts or words? Now, are you saying this with your mind or with your mouth? Mouth. So you say, don't. Yeah. And he stops. Uh, I take a, a beat to notice 
and I turn and run. As you turn back and do the old over the shoulder, Mm -hmm. he is still there. Stop. I'm no longer looking back now. I will just keep going. Cool. At this point, as you're running, the noise floor starts to curl around your ears and you just hear your internal breathing of just (sighs) (sighs) saved you back there. You saved yourself. Don't let this be a lesson. Uh, And I have a character for you, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, So uh, you didn't want to be strong. You rejected the kind of like extra planar thing. Uh, so I would think that uh, either a soul knife rogue okay. or a dex based psi warrior. I feel like the last time we did something similar like this, yes. it was you gave me. Uh, I think I gave you like a cleric or something. No, you gave me a uh, shadow knight or something. What is that? Echo knight. Echo knight. I gave you a cleric. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was like um, I think star or moon, night, or twilight, twilight. That's what twilight it is. cleric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was it. Yeah, I haven't I, done one of those in a while. 